guys, hope you all have been well. Today I'm going to continue on with my MAC lip swatch videos. I have two more sets to show you, the nude ones and then the more brown based lipsticks. So for today I will be swatching, I believe it's nine lipsticks for you and as well as showing you how to use lip liners to make nudes not appear as dangerous, clown-like, and ghostly as they tend to with people who have similar complexions to mine. Oh guys, by the way, I did my nails, finally. But yes, as I mentioned, I'm going to be doing a very small miniature tutorial on how to use lip liners um, as I did here. I did overdraw my lips. I don't do this regularly, however, I know that it is very trendy currently. And so I just figured I would show you that way because people are liking to overdraw their lips now. So without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let us get started. of the lipsticks and I'm pretty sure that some of you are thinking baby Jesus you need to help this woman out because my lips cannot handle pure nude lipsticks it's too much of a contrast to my skin color and my lips have dark pigmentation on the outside so it's very it looks very off but before I show you guys how to or how I outline my lips I wanted to share with you some lip liners from MAC that I think would go well with nude lipsticks so if you want a color that's a bit more ashy something just for shadow and darkness around your lips I would suggest these four here this one here is oak this one and then this one is stone this one cork and this one is chestnut now if you like a bit more color in your lips say mauve or a bit of pink in your lip liner then i have some to share with you as well this first one here is spice this is the first lip liner that i ever owned it has a bit of mauviness to it um, this one here is stripped down it's very popular i would say this is a brown color but it just has a bit more spiciness to it as compared to some of those other brown ones this one is sore kind of a mid-tone mauve pink and then this is whirl and it's kind of a dustier mauve type of color so these are the lip liners that i would recommend off of the mac lip liner line so the first thing that I like to do is outline my lips. I'm going to use something lighter first so that if I make mistakes, it's easier to clean off. So I just outline my natural lip shape first. It's easier for me to do it this way because I know what my lips look like and from there I can extend little by little. For me, I find it easier if I tuck my lip in a little bit so I can get right underneath and then you can kind of see that dip going down for my lower lips I 
prefer to exaggerate, not extremely exaggerate, the bottom portion of my lip by extending it out. However, by the time I get to the um, outer corner of my lip, I connect it to where my natural lip line, just so that it doesn't look too overly drawn. You can see, especially on the upper portion of your lips, where the highest part is of your lip, and I like to draw just slightly above that. So I cover over that line and draw a little above it. Now this side of my lip is not as full as the other side, so I have to even it out. And then I feather in the outer corners. I'm very careless with this because I end up blending more anyways later on. I'm kind of just like tapping it in and then blending as I go. And I'm gonna use cork on the side. I'm not gonna go directly from the tip. I'm gonna go on the side so that it creates a better fade. So like that, lightly going over it. And I just use my lips to blend as I go, like, like that. Because I'm putting more pressure on the bottom so I'm getting more color down here and as it goes up it's creating more of a gradient effect. Same thing on the top. This time I'm putting more pressure on the tip so it deposits more color. And then if you wanted you could take the lipstick again if it's not as light as you would like it and just I usually just tap it in the center so that I don't disturb any of the blending that I did. I don't like to go really light because I don't think I suit it very well. So something like this is good for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that this mini tutorial at the end helped you guys out. And if you're interested in picking up one of these lipsticks but are afraid that you can't pull it off, lip liner is the way to go. I used to think the same way until lip liners changed my life. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you would like to keep updated on future videos, I hope that you guys um, decide to subscribe to this channel. If you would like to keep updated on my social media, I do uh, leave my Twitter and my Instagram information in the description box below as well. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comments and or message me and I will try my best to get back to you. I feel like I'm forgetting what to say. I will try my best to get back to you and until the next one, I hope you guys are all doing well, taking really good care of yourselves. I will see you all next time. Bye. Music time, guys. I'm wondering, I need